Hello, welcome to AI Medical School. Today, our new colleague, Dr. Iris Ellie joins us. And we will teach you together. So welcome Dr. Iris Ellie. Hello everybody, I am your new teacher. And today we are going to talk about cholera disease. So let's go to the classroom. This is our classroom. So, let's start our lecture. Cholera is caused by the gram-negative bacillus, Vibrio cholerae. Infection is common in tropical and subtropical countries. In Aris of poor hygiene, infection is by the fecal-oral route and spread is predominantly by ingestion of water contaminated with the feces of infected humans. Doctor, please come and tell us its pathophysiology and clinical features. Its pathophysiology and clinical features. Following attachment to and colonization of the small intestinal epithelium, Vibrio cholerae produces its major virulence factor, cholera toxin. The toxin binds to its enterocyte surface receptor, which in turn activates cyclic adenosine monophosphate, CAMP. The increase in CAMP activates intermediates, which then act on the apical membrane, causing chloride ion secretion and inhibition of sodium and chloride absorption. This produces massive secretion of isotonic fluid into the intestinal lumen. Cholera toxin also increases serotonin release from enterochromaffin cells in the gut, which contributes to the secretory activity and diarrhea. Additional enterotoxins have been described in Vibrio cholerae, which may contribute to its pathogenic effect. Profuse watery diarrhea may result in dehydration, hypotension and death. Please Dr. Iris come and tell us how to manage this disease. Management is aimed at aggressive volume replacement which is mainly oral. Intravenous fluids are given in severe cases. The mechanism of action of oral rehydration solutions, ORS, depends on the fact that there is a glucose-dependent sodium absorption mechanism not related to CAMP and thus unaffected by cholera toxin. The World Health Organization ORS contains sodium, 75 mole per liter, and glucose, 75 mole per liter, along with potassium, chloride and citrate. Cereal-based regimens also contain cooked rice. Single-dose azithromycin or doxycycline helps to eradicate the infection, decrease stool output, shorten the duration of the illness, and reduce bacterial shedding. Now, doctor please come and tell us its prevention and control. Good hygiene and sanitation are the most effective measures for the reduction of infection. Oral live attenuated and killed vaccine are recommended in potential or actual outbreak situations. We hope you like today's class. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.